to increase this effect you need to make the emitter larger. So let's go back to our emitter ellipsoid here. Make this uh, let's say 50 which is probably quite large. Essentially the emitter has to be broader than your player can catch up with the edge of it. Now as you make it bigger you actually need more snow particles because you've suddenly got a large emitter and the same number of particles and so it becomes less dense. Okay, now you can see here we've got some very nice floating snow which looks like it goes quite a long way. Let's just play that. The emitter is starting and if we start walking we will hopefully not catch up to the edge of it and this is not too bad actually uh, the point here is we don't have our emitter high enough uh, you can see in a particular location let me just stop that and probably not in this view but back when the game was playing because the emitter wasn't high enough above the player when we got to a lower point and looked back at it you could see that there was an area in the sky where the snow kind of started as you can see here you can see there's like no snow appearing where those trees are essentially but there's a lot more down the bottom and that's just a matter of lifting up the emitter, making it a little higher. So make it up to say 15 and then at the same time making the energy of each snowball last for longer. So it has time from that height to fall to the ground. And there's the snow. Okay, in the next tutorial I will show you how to make that snow look as though it's impacting onto the ground.